Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, today I'm doing a weekly plan with me. It feels like I haven't done one of these in a while. I don't know if that's true or not, because I'm not going to check. Um, so here we are uh, in my personal size Fosjosma um, ring planner, which I've been showing you and everything. Um, I am currently using this um, Rolling Weekly. I used this back in like December, January. It worked really well for me. Um, and I have been enjoying it, but I also have been sort of feeling like I want to move into a seven day week instead. Um, that like I keep putting things for next week that actually I do want to get done, you know, the week that's still on this spread. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, um, which is here. So I still have another day and I still have enough room for this Tuesday here. So I'm going to start the next weekly on Wednesday. Um, this is just some notes for my upcoming content stuff. So I had that handy. Um, so I'm going to set it up in another rolling weekly for this Wednesday and on. But um, when I set up the whole planner, I just printed out like a few pages worth. Um, I wasn't like paying attention to how many I was printing. I printed, I think, two and a half pages. Um, and so this is the last one of what I printed. So I think that this will be the last one that I set up um, here like with using this spread, this is insert 67. And I really do love it. It's rolling weekly and I'll show you how I'm using it as I go. Um, but I think next week, like after I'm done with this one, I'm gonna move to a standard seven day weekly. And I realized, um, cause I do put like um, some like, I, I leave a, a blank page at the front and I put some pictures on it and stuff. And I usually do that like once a month then I realized that I actually don't have to. I can just do it whenever I feel like switching weeklies and it doesn't have to coincide with a new month. So yeah, that was a freeing realization I just had earlier today. Um, but that's where we are. I'm gonna go ahead and take this clip off so it doesn't interfere with anything. Um, and we can get started. So as you see, like earlier in the month, I was doing really basic stuff. No washi tape, a little bit of washi tape. And then this, last week I decided to actually break into some of my happy planner stickers and they fit so much better in the personal size than they do in the pocket size as you see um the column in a happy planner is like maybe two millimeters wider than um like half of this page and so it fits really great um it looks really nice it has made me happy using it um I've been using this t checklist sort of for projects rather than for tasks. And so far that's working. I'm feeling motivated on all the things I have, like all the projects I have on deck, um, which I will get into more. I'm sure that's all in this tab. Um, when I do my flip through video, which I think is next week. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Um, basically I'm going to sort of decorate it with some stickers. Um, so there's going to be a lot of flipping around. I got as far as opening up, this is the, what's it called? Don't stop growing collection, the happy planner stickers. These are available at Michael's, which is why they're handy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use this, this one, cause I really like these column stickers and I like the color palette. Um, these gardening themed stickers, even if not all of my tasks are garden themed, there are some that are. So I'll just go ahead and line this up with the inside corner and yes. All right. See, it's not look nice. Then I can pull out more of the header stickers to cover things up. So these are all from Mad Hatter next week, so I already covered that up, and then I'll do this week as well. Um, I don't think that's going to cover everything, so I think I need a little washi or something, or maybe a sticker. Oh, I think I know. There might be. Not this one. Alright, first we'll use the next week sticker to cover up the next week header that I accidentally covered up. We'll go here. And this is for stuff. It's mostly been for my like short term waiting on stuff, things that I don't want to forget about. And there are a few little, I have some like tickets in with my health insurance and some stuff with, yeah, things I just need to wait on stuff from people for, plus a couple of tasks that I didn't want to forget to do next week, you know? So let me see what would be good is just something to cover that up. 
thinking of some of these like little see little flags like this that might work um, it's a little small though it says pull weeds on it I think I saw some in here these ones I think this would work yeah I think I can make that work all right turn it sideways. I think maybe I can do this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit ambiguous. With just a splash of this grid washi, which I think if it won't cover the words, it will at least sort of make it harder to tell what they are. And then I'll put this on top. Like, like that. And then the, the header sticker. The cut on these is a little bit tricky between the words. I have to kind of rip it a little bit, unfortunately. All right. Oh, that came off okay. Um, this covers up the left part of that word. And then there we go. What do we think? Layers. This week, next week, and then um, I'm gonna put, like I said, like sort of the projects I'm working on. Um, I think I'm trying to think what like tops and bottoms where I want to put. Um, uh, like something decorative to kind of stagger it a little bit, but I think I will also grab some, it's a little dark. I have a whole set of these, um, greens and blues. See, this one's even darker, so I guess I'll go with this one later one. Wait, which one? Oh, that one's slightly lighter. Okay. See, there's like, they're so similar. I think I'm going to put a little hair stuff on it. Of course. So I'll rip that end off. Alright, put it down to here. And actually go along the edge. Sort of decoratively. I think this might be nice looking. Okay. Just use a random bit of Wendy's script to tear that washi tape. And then um, I'm gonna actually use numbers, I think. Number stickers, I mean. Let's see, numbers. I don't know if I want to use full one, full one words or abbreviations. I think, I think maybe full words just because it's been a while even though I'm not sure if that'll look the best. I kind of want to save these because these work so well at the top of those grid monthlies but it doesn't really. Now yeah I'll use the abbreviations. All right. Keep my stickers tidy and putting them back as I finish using them. Okay. So what is it? Wednesday the 15th, right? So, so far looking good, a um, little bit uh, fiddly to get all of those down, but it looks really nice. So the result I think is worth it. Um, and so let's look at actual, like, I think I'm gonna grab some, I don't even know what to call this kind of sticker. What would you call this kind of sticker? Comment below. Um, with like a, a box, I guess it's a, yeah, some sort of box. 
This, these are called Hobo Weeks for some reason. Um, I don't know. I've never used a Hobonichi Week, so I don't know. And this one's called P26. Uh, okay. Oh, I know. These ones. I always want to use these ones. And then I never do. Let me see if they would fit. They might just... We've got um, just like one holiday, I think, and then, yeah, yeah, nothing else um, big happening just yet, so I think I could either put this corner on there, I think that might work, or else I could put this and it would kind of cover everything. Um, this one would be, yeah, that wouldn't really fit, um, but I think one of these would. So let's just, these are from 2016. They're super cute. Um, so Sunday the 19th. Yeah, it's a little bit taller than the actual box, but you line it up with the box. And there you go, that's the idea. Um, so I will grab a pen of some kind. Oh, I think this one. Put that in. Oh, as tiny as I can. And then we have other tasks and events and things, I think, as well. So we've got, I know on Thursday I have a phone appointment with my doctor. I'll just put, just put phone appointment. I have been putting stuff in my phone calendar a lot more. So sometimes I'll be able to just write something in my planner that's just like phone appointment and the details are in my phone. So like on my, my Google calendar. So it'll have like the time, um, for example, or if there's like a location or whatever, uh, for something. And is there anything on here? No, nothing on Wednesday. Um, let's see on Tuesdays we do like to go to the library. And on our monthly, let's look here. Swim lessons on Sunday, of course. We're taking a swim lesson that's like every Sunday for the whole month. It's the way that we get it to fit into our schedule nicely. And then I'm going to, some of the things over here. Oh, I did. This is this week already, and I've done this. Uh, change sheets. Need to do that. Oh, we need Father's Day. Cards. And gift shopping. Um, and I think that's one thing I put here, right? Okay. Yes, let's see. Um, let's put price out food. I think possibly pre-order as well. This is for my daughter's birthday party that's coming up. That's like the big project on my plate right now. Um, I don't think there's anything else on the weekly or on the monthly. Yeah, we've got the, we've got the venue, we've got the guest list, we've got, well, working on that. Um, okay, I'm going to go to this front tab, which is current projects. Um, or, sorry, which is like to-do lists, right? Um, lists of projects. 
starting with this new insert, which was just dropped in my shop like a week ago. Um, so this is a bingo card that you can fill in. I filled this side in with summer break stuff and this side with self-care stuff. Um, so there might be something on here I want to add. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get that water table set up. I do want to go to the beach at some point. I need to talk to my husband about what he wants to get done. He is starting a new job, finally. Um, if you've been following, it's been it's been a frustrating um, job search. He's been looking for a while, but he has got a job. He's starting on the 27th. So he has, like, well, as this is coming out, basically a week left. So I want to see what he wants to get done with the girls before he goes to work and what things he would rather just leave to me doing with, like, a friend or something. Um... All right, so yeah, this week I'm still working on birthday plans and then Father's Day. And then next week we're going to focus on getting the baptism done. And then I have one more week before the birthday party. That's the idea. Um, we did this. That's great. I put learn. It looks like I get distracted. Running to-do list. I put learn. That could mean anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should put pedicure. I was gonna maybe go out and do it myself, or maybe just do it to myself. But I really need my toes done. Alright, and then... Yeah, mm-hmm. Going through, these are some of the current smaller projects that um, I can like list on here. Um, and so I need... I just kind of go through them every so often and I put um, a little highlight next to the tasks that could be done now and should be done, you know, that are available to do now and then I check them off when they're done. Um, so, some of these things, it's going to happen next week. Oh, projects, so yeah. Let's see, craft projects, these are things to do. Alright. I do list, somebody maybe list. None of that is important. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and look at my, well, yeah, I know, I know in my head what is on the list here of birthday stuff. Um, so I'll just, I think maybe I'll put that as a, I'll put it in caps to make it stand out. to show me that it is a project rather than a task. Then there's also, let's see these tasks. Shopping, shopping. Um, yeah, that's next week. And then that's the week after. And that's also next month. Okay. So now let's do a little bit more decor. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna, like I said, things at the top or bottom of these. I think I'll put something down here. Maybe that's it. Something sort of decorative down there and then call that a day. Alright, I'll use more of this grid washi that worked at the top on the right and I can some script to cut it and then I think I have some decorative stickers back here uh, succulents tomatoes maybe there's a lot of tomatoes going on and also pickles which is exciting um, we just see I plated Boston pickling this year um, I think it's just because we've been having a really mild spring um, like last year things got hot super fast and I think that's pretty typical of us, our, our climate. But this year we had a pretty mild spring as in like it came in slow. So, um, things have been doing really well. Tomatoes and cucumbers have not had a lot of that temperature shock. Um, and they've been producing fantastically. Um, and so we've got so many cucumbers going in to be pickled and I love it. Alright, I think that's it for today, uh, for this for this setup, um, I feel like I want something more in here, but I also don't want to, like, overdo it. I wish I had something 
hoped it was thinner. Or maybe use the really dark one. Maybe use the really dark one. So is this too, this is too bright, I think. Maybe not, let me look. And is that too much? I'm asking about the tiniest little strip of washi tape. Whatever. Yeah, no, I don't want it. I'm gonna leave it. Um, you can add too much to a spread and then it just gets, it, something that was perfect ends up being a little bit too much. So this is where I'm gonna leave it. Um, I've got, like I said, projects and things to work on. Um, the next week's stuff I'll, I'll migrate over. Um, those are all, like I said, like follow up um, and waiting on items. And then next week I'm gonna move to a different spread. Um, but again, I don't know what that is yet. I haven't looked into my collection to figure out what I want to use. This week I've been using insert 67. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. Thank you uh, for the reminder to do that. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's tune in next week for a full flip through where I show you every insert that I'm using in this whole setup. Um, it's been working pretty well for me and I'm liking the size. Surprisingly, I thought it would feel huge, but it really doesn't. And I do like the the stockiness of it. So um, there we go. Thanks so much. And I will see you here. I'll leave on this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>